a miracle ordained by heaven. This boy is our king. Wow. I mean, he's just, wow. It took like an hour, but we finally got to the main title of the movie. What the boo movie is about, the sword in the stone. Ray, but Derek, I gotta ask you a question. What is it, man? Uh, why is this movie even called The Sword in the Stone? I mean, come on. Like, The Sword in the Stone? It's not even about him pulling out the sword, because, like, it takes him an hour to even pull out the goddamn sword. Well, I mean, I mean, what else are you gonna call it? I don't know. You could have called it, like, I don't know, um, I'm gonna think of a stupid name. Author and Friends, Author's Furry Adventures, Author and Marlin, or Author, the kid who pulls the sword out of the stone, or the kid that would be king. Nah, nah, that's a really ridiculous and long, stupid name. Yeah, that's kind of a dumb, stupid name. But the, I don't know, I, I feel like I heard that name before. Yeah, it reminds me of a name too. Oh, you know what, that, that's the name of a new movie that came out. You don't say. It's a kid film, right? Yeah. Hmm. Interesting. Sounds like a waste of time. It does. I'm gonna have to go see it, don't I? Yeah, you probably have. <sighs> okay, let's let's go see it and get a review out for it. Hey everybody, my name's Puppet, and today I'm gonna be taking a look at the kid that would be king. Oh, uh, dude, it's actually called the kid who would be king. Uh, no, I believe it's the king that would be king. Wait a minute, no, I'm I'm saying it backwards. It's the kid that would be king. No, no, no. Wait, is that is that right? No, no, I said the king that would be king. No, you just said who. Oh, are you sure it's not that, but you just said who? All right, the king that would be king. No, 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 this title, you know, I don't know why. It's only this title that I've had the most confusion. It, uh, well, actually, no, the house with a clock within its wall. So the house without a clock. With, no, no, there is a clock. So, you, know, you know what? We're just going to go on to the review. Just go on to the review, whatever the heck this name of the movie this is. You know, now I'm just making up words now. This, this movie's driving me crazy. Who will join us? This is the best and the worst thing that's ever happened. Oh, hail the once and future king. Please don't. It's embarrassing. So, this is a movie. Um... I, as you can tell, I was not excited for this. I did not look forward to this. On the drive through, I was just like, God, I'm seeing this movie. But I, you know, I did it to content for the channel. I really didn't care to see this movie. Not one bit. I don't really care about this. I just didn't at all. It just didn't. Uh. I'm not saying it's a terrible movie. It's not a terrible movie. I'm, it's, it's watchable, but it's not that good. I just did not enjoy it that much, though. I mean, it, and surprisingly, that it has an 80%, 81 or 84% of Rotten Tomatoes with a high audience score. And I'm like, what? This has to be a good movie. But I was really disappointed by this movie. Um, I was thinking because of the high reviews, I was like, this is going to be a great movie. Sadly, to me, it was not that good. Sadly. Um, the kid actors, they're okay. They're not great, and just, ugh, the dialogue feels very weird. And I can say the third act is actually really good. I actually enjoyed the third act a lot. The first two acts, they were boring. The first act was terrible. The second act is where it starts picking up. Really interestingly good. Um, the only character I kind of only enjoyed was Merlin. He was the kid. And also, which was a interesting surprise to me, Patrick Stewart is in this movie, and I'm not going to reveal what he does in this movie, but it was extreme, like, I even waited to the credits to see if it was actually him, but yeah, it was him, I was so surprised that Patrick Stewart was in this movie, and yeah, it was really funny, um, yeah, all I really enjoyed was Merlin, um, the effects CGI, it was okay, I, I mean, some of the effects were actually pretty good, the, on the dragon, ugh, it was just, it was just bad. And it's just, and it's a really cheap movie. You can just tell. It feels like a Disney Channel original movie, though. I don't know why. This just feels like it. But really, let's get into what this movie is. This movie is basically about a kid that finds the sword and the stone, and he was chosen from all the other people in the world. 
Apparently, the, sto the story is coming because the world is in chaos because of politics and all blah 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 dictators. All that stuff, all that chaos that's happening in the world right now. Basically, that's why the sword came and this evil bad lady is coming in and she's going to try to stop him. And oh boy, is he going to try to beat her. Such, I don't know, the story is weak on the, that front. But one thing, a good thing I could say about this movie is that the emotional parts of this movie are actually really good. Every scene that's emotional, you actually, you can see the actors are really good in emotional scenes. Not much of anything else. <laughs> yeah. And sadly, like, it's one of those movies where the kids parent, like, there's only one parent, and they continuously talk about their dead father. And it's... I wish movies could stop this maybe once or twice they'll mention Dead Father, but no, they will continuously talk about the dead father or the dead parent. I hate it. I just do not like it. And the kid will just get mad at the other parent and is like, um, dad didn't do it like that. And I'm like, okay, okay, son, she's trying her best there. Slow your roll. He's, she's trying your bet, her best, man. Just give her a chance. Stop complaining that your life sucks without your father. Jeez, like, ugh, this movie just gives me a headache. And also the bullies. The bullies, um, I do like their redemption story. It's an okay redemption story. It's kind of goes a little bit fast and probably needs to be a little bit slower, but it's okay. Yeah. Uh, the kid who plays, uh, Alexander, um, he's okay. He's best friend. I didn't like him. He's okay, too. I mean, they're just okay. They're not amazing actors. They're just okay. They don't really, like, any line, like, the the words they say feels sort of boring sometimes. It's just like, you'll see when it, you see the movie. But would I actually recommend this one? I, I don't know if I would actually recommend this movie. This movie was not that good to me. In my opinion, it wasn't that good. In most movies... I just didn't recommend I just wouldn't recommend it it's not that good it's not like a trip to the theater that's worth watching right it's really hard to talk about this movie it's just like it was it's not terrible it's not terrible like go in your rooms I would probably go with someone like probably drag them into this don't go alone because that would just be boring to you because I, I was got I went alone because no one I knew wanted to go see this movie and for good reasons why but, yeah, I mean, I really wish there was more this month in January to go see in the theaters. But sadly, there's nothing in Jan. There's nothing this month to actually go see. Nothing at all. So, I guess that's really my review on this movie. Um, I give it a 6. That's really all I can give it. And I don't think I'm actually going to be seeing this movie again. Maybe if it's in the $3 or $1, I'll buy it. But I don't think I'll really be seeing this movie again. Because I just don't like it. I just don't. It feels like a Disney Channel original movie. So, yeah, that's my thoughts on The Kid That Would Be King. This is kind of a shorter review than usual. Just because there's not much to talk about this. There's not really high in depth. There's no big twists. Woo, boy, big twists. There's not not really that in this movie. You can Everything's really, really predictable. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Please like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. So, uh, Derek, what's the, um, what's the next movie you have on the list? Uh, let me see. Uh, I think Miss Blah's next. Miss Blah, you mean Jane the Virgin the movie? Oh, hell yes. Let's get started with the, let's go see that one.